Follow this quick guide to change a tower for the Azeron Classic or Compact. For this guide you will need Hex screwdriver Flathead screwdriver Tweezers Unplug the keypad Unscrew these screws using the hex screwdriver. Remove the palm rest. Use a hex screwdriver and unscrew these two screws to remove the tower. Unscrew these screws that hold the casing using the hex screwdriver. Do not remove it right away. You have to remove the wires that connect the LEDs to the Teensy board and ground distribution block. Take a picture of these wires so you can reconnect them correctly later on. Note that the black ground wire might be connected to another slot of the ground distribution block. You can connect it to any free slot of the block. Unscrew these screws using the flathead screwdriver. Do not unscrew them completely out. Remove the wires and the casing. Unscrew these screws to release the Teensy board. Locate the tower's wires connected to the Teensy. These wires must be connected to the specific slots. Locate the black wire connected to the ground distribution block. Take a picture of the wires so you can reconnect them correctly later on. Unscrew the screws using the flathead screwdriver. Do not unscrew them completely out. Remove the tower. Install a new tower and screw it down using the hex screwdriver. Fix the tower in the farthest position on the rail. Put the tower's wires under the Teensy. Use your reference photos and connect the tower's wires to the Teensy board and the ground distribution block by using the flat screwdriver. The screws must be contacting the bare wires and not the insulation. Once the wires are secure, double check them with a very light pull to make sure they are attached. Now gently put the Teensy board back into place. Do not break off the reset button. Make sure that the reset button on the bottom of the Teensy board lines up with the corresponding slot on the base. Use a hex screwdriver to tighten these screws that hold the Teensy. Put on the casing. Make sure the paracords go in corresponding openings and are not strained. Otherwise, you might not be able to adjust the towers later on. Tighten these screws using the hex screwdriver. Take a flathead screwdriver. Use your reference photos and reconnect the LEDs. The screws must be contacting the bare wires and not the insulation. Once the wires are secure, double check them with a very light pull to make sure they are attached. Plug the keypad into the PC and make sure all the keys, thumbstick, 
and five-way switch are working. If not, check the connections, referencing the photos you have taken earlier. Remember to unplug the keypad before troubleshooting. Use the hex screwdriver to reinstall the palm rest. Be sure not to squeeze any wires while doing so. Enjoy your keypad and the new tower.